I was kind of curious if this uh, Pentium 120 that I have was um, an early enough revision that the foof bug would uh, lock it up. As you can see, I actually hand edited this assembly, uh, this program that I had, which actually was legitimate. I added the instruction F00FC7C8, which is a locked compare and exchange 8-bit between um, two registers, which is actually an illegal instruction which should just cause an exception and like the program would end. Um, but as you can see, the computer is completely locked up. It says running. I'll actually reboot and I'll show you this again. This thing takes a minute to boot. Okay, we're back at the end of the self-test. We'll just boot into DOS. Alright, so now I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I'm going to move into my uh, workspace directory. Okay, and then we're going to open in Turbo Debugger. Test.exe, which is what we had before. It's going to complain that there's no symbol table, that's okay. Now, um, this is where our program starts. Uh, that was the first legitimate instruction. Uh, the rest of this is all jumbled up because the length of this instruction is incorrect. But if we go F8, which is step, it'll execute that first instruction. You'll see over on the right-hand side, AX has now had that value moved into it. And if I hit F8, watch in the upper right-hand corner, you see how it says ready. I'll hit F8, goes to running, and now... The machine is totally locked up. Uh, it won't even respond to control alt delete. Uh, it literally takes a power cycle. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And there's the foof bug in action almost 30 years later.